Hi, I'm Sean Toomey from Posme Media, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your mailboxes using DreamHost as your hosting provider. To host your email accounts with DreamHost, you will need a DreamHost account. To be fully transparent, I am a DreamHost affiliate. I've been using DreamHost since 2006 and regularly recommend them to clients and friends. You'll find my affiliate link in the description below. If you buy through my link, I appreciate your support and I'm here to answer any of your questions. So before we jump in, it's important to understand that there are two main options for hosting your email when hosting your domain with DreamHost. Option number one is hosting your mailboxes on the DreamHost servers using the DreamHost email service. Option number two is hosting your mailboxes somewhere else and configuring configuring your domain in DreamHost accordingly. So an example of this would be hosting your email with Google Apps for Business. This is the premium Google service, so it's not the free Gmail accounts. Let's start with option one, which is hosting your mailboxes with DreamHost. This is assuming your domain is set up as a hosted domain in DreamHost. So here we are inside the DreamHost dashboard. And the thing we need to do first is make sure that your domain has been set up as a managed domain within DreamHost. So the way we do that is we click on manage domains under domains in the left navigation. This page will show you a list of all the domains that have been set up to be managed through DreamHost. So on this page, you want to find the domain that you want to set up your email addresses for. For this example, I'm going to use my.posme.com. If you cannot find the domain that you're looking for on this list, then it might be hosted elsewhere. But if you want to set up hosting for a specific domain, then you can click on add hosting to a domain. But we're not going to go through that in this video. I've created a separate video. I'll leave the link in the description below. What we want to do next is under mail, we want to click on manage email. On this page, we want to click create new email address. On this next page, I want to make you aware of three options. You can either set up a fully hosted email address. This means that the email address will have its own mailbox on the DreamHost server, which you can log into through webmail, but you can also use that email address with your favorite email client. The next option that you can set up is a forward only email address. And a forward only email address does not have a mailbox, so no emails will be stored on the server. Instead, any emails that are sent to this email address will simply be forwarded to any addresses that you specify in the settings. And the third option is you can set up a garbage email address. This purely means that any emails that are sent to this email address will be deleted. For this example, I'm going to set up a fully hosted email. And to do that, I'm going to create the email here. I'm going to enter the first part of the email address. In this case, I'm going to set up info at my.posme.com. So here you want to use this drop down menu to select the corresponding domain name. Next, you want to give this mailbox a name. This is usually the name of the owner of this mailbox. So I'm just going to put in info test. Then you can either manually create a password or you can simply tick this box. This means that DreamHost will generate a password for you. Next, you can set the total disk usage limit. And by default, this is set to 200. You can also make this unlimited. I generally leave this at 200, but you can increase this amount. Next, there's an option to receive daily warnings. This is if your usage reaches within 10% of your limit. I generally leave this ticked. Next, list all email addresses to forward to, one per line. So if you want this mailbox to also forward emails onto another email address, then you can list them here and make sure to list one per line. The next few settings are all about keeping your inbox tidy. So we have options here, remove red messages when inbox reaches 250. I'm gonna leave that. Remove red messages from inbox older than 45 days. I'm also gonna leave that. And then even remove unread messages. I'm not gonna take that one. I'm gonna leave it unticked. And then we have save removed messages in a folder named old messages. I usually untick this one because I don't want to save removed messages. Then last but not least, email me when messages are removed. You can leave that one ticked and then you simply click create address. There we go. We've successfully created this new email address and you want to take note of your mailbox login and your password, save them in a safe space. While waiting for this new email address to become active, I want to show you the anti-spam features that are included with the DreamHost email service. To access those, you want to click on anti-spam on the left under manage email. On this next page, you'll see a list of all your domains. So we're going to find the domain that we are working on. Here's the domain that we're working on. And we can see because there's the tick that the spam filter has already been enabled. If it hasn't been enabled, you can click the enable button on the right to set that up. And if you want to disable it, you can edit the filter here. So we've given it a few minutes and by now I'm sure our mailbox is active. So now I want to show you webmail, which is part of the DreamHost email service. To locate this page, you need to head over to webmail.yourdomain.com. So for our example, it's webmail.my.posme.com. So here you need to use your email address and your password to log into your mailbox. 
So there we go, we've logged into the webmail interface and we are looking at our brand new mailbox. There aren't any messages to look at, but you can use webmail from anywhere in the world using your web browser to access your DreamHost email mailbox. Now I'd like to talk about option number two, and this applies if you do not want to use DreamHost email service and you'd prefer to use a third party email provider. For example, if you prefer using Google Apps for Business, which is the premium Gmail service to host your mailboxes, then we can set that up in DreamHost as well. But your emails won't live on the DreamHost mail service. Just take note, and this is an important note to take, you can either host your domain's email addresses with DreamHost or with Google Apps for Business. You cannot use both at the same time and you cannot use free Gmail accounts. So to set this up within DreamHost, again, you want to make sure that your domain has been added as a managed domain and you would check that under Managed Domains. The next thing you want to click on is under Mail, you click on Custom MX. On this page, you look for your specific domain. Here we go, here's the domain that we're working on and we simply click on Edit. On this next page, you can see that the regular DreamHost email is active. That's the one that we've set up. But if you scroll down, you will notice that there is Google Apps. Use Google Apps for Business for this domain email. Please note that you will need to sign up for the service with Google and configure any mailboxes you need before activating this option. So that's really important to take note of. And then you can also set up the calendar and the docs feature for your domain. So this is if you're using Google Apps across your entire domain. And once you're ready, you click, I'm ready to use Google Apps now to configure your domain to work with Google Apps. So there we go, that's it. I actually use both of these options. For some sites that I manage, I use DreamHost mailboxes and for others, I use Google Apps for business. For businesses, I always recommend Google Apps, the premium product, but if you're just starting out or you don't want to spend more on a mailbox service, then by all means, go with DreamHost email service. It definitely gets the job done. If you aren't already an existing DreamHost customer and you're interested in signing up, I would appreciate if you sign up using my affiliate link. I'll leave that link in the description below. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I'm here to support you and I'll leave any other links that I may have mentioned in the description below. If you found this video useful, hit that like button and make sure to subscribe to see future videos. Thanks for watching. I'm Sean Toomey from Posme Media, wishing you a great day and I'll chat to you soon. Cheers.